Okay, we've been given a rectilinear motion question, and I think the first thing we're going to need to understand to be able to solve this problem is we're going to have to know the relationship between displacement, velocity, and acceleration. So if we've got a displacement function in terms of time, the velocity function is going to be, well velocity we know is the change in distance over the change in time, so we can interpret that as the velocity is being the derivative of displacement with respect to time. And consequently we know that acceleration is the change in velocity over the change in time, so Again, we can just we can write that as being acceleration is equal to the derivative of velocity with respect to time. So you can see that speed, velocity, acceleration are quite intimately related when it comes to the calculus of each of the uh, functions. If that's going from displacement to acceleration. Now if we're going to go back in the opposite direction, calculus helps us do that as well. If we have acceleration as a function of time, we can work out velocity is going to be equal to the integral of acceleration with respect to time and displacement will be the integral of velocity cool so knowing this little relationship here we can get to the question. We've been given a velocity and we're going to have to find the distance travelled in the fifth second. So we've been given the velocity and we have to find the distance so we have to work back in this direction. So we're going to have to use the integral. So the distance travelled in the fifth second, well if we have our seconds here from zero one, I usually do this to make sure I get the right second. Okay, well from zero to one, that's going to be in the first second, the second second, the third second, the fourth second, the fifth second. Okay, so we know that the fifth second is going to be from time equals four to time equals five. Okay, let's just get rid of that. So the fifth second is going to be from time equals four to time equals five. So using this, we know that we can calculate the displacement or the distance travelled of a particle by taking the integral of their velocity function. So let's write that down. So the displacement of this particle is going to be equal to the integral from time equals 4 to time equals 5 of vt dt, which is going to be equal to the integral from 4 to 5 of 4t plus 1 dt. Cool. So this is basically what we're going to have to compute to be able to solve this problem. So if you understand how to calculate integrals, 
this won't be that much trouble for you. So basically what we're going to do here is we're going to evaluate this by anti-differentiating them inside. So we increase the power by 1, so it's going to be t squared, then divide that by 2. So it's going to be 2 t squared plus 1, increase the power of t to 1, 2 t squared plus t, evaluated between 4 and 5. Okay. So this is equal to, we substitute 5 in for t first. So this is going to be 5 squared is 25 times 2 is 50 plus just 5. And then we subtract our lower bound. So 4 squared is 16 times 2 is 32 plus, so we have 32. plus 4, 55 minus 36 is equal to 19 metres. And that is how far the particle will travel in the fifth second. So from time equals 4 to time equals 5.